As teachers mourned the passing of one of their colleagues, Corinne Myers, who was brutally murdered Sunday night, General Secretary of the Guyana Teachers Union, Coretta MacDonald, said, This is no easy loss for the teaching fraternity. She noted that in the classroom, Mars was known as a disciplinarian. Those who don't know him as Corbin Mars, they know him as the Clipper, Sir Mars, Sion, and he had all of these other names attached to him. Uh, what people saw, or quite a lot of people saw out there as Mars or Corwin or Sir Mars, uh, there was much more to him than what we saw out there. And you had to be very close to him. In the theater or in the arts, they knew him as the comedian. In school, he was called the disciplinarian, or he was referred to as the disciplinarian. He was also a trade unionist. He fought for equal rights and justice for teachers and, and basically anybody. Uh, you wouldn't see Mars going along the road and an advantage, as we would want to call it, that is being taken on somebody and he wouldn't stop to render assistance. He was very kind, considerate, and, and above all of that, he had this, this jovialness about him that really allowed him to, to be connected to people or persons easily. Uh, Mars was a very outspoken person and I think that it is what led to, to people being able to reach out to him and to him being able to, to help persons when they're in need. Mars and I, we, we came all the way back from 1999. He was a regular visitor to my home. Um, we shared so much in common and, and to be able to you know, it's, it's like you, you just can't accept the fact that Corwin is no more there. And like I said earlier, you keep asking why, why, why? But to his immediate relatives, to his immediate family at school, to the many students and others who he would have come encounter with, I share with you my heartfelt sympathy at this time. I pray that God is going to grant you that divine comfort as you go through this phase, as we go through this phase. But of course, the questions are still there. Why? McDonough fears what transpired last night should have never happened and posited that violence is not the answer to settle differences. I, I'm just trying to figure out in my mind what were his last moments, what, what his thoughts were. Because when you look at that video, this is saying to us that the young man who would have committed this act, that he is much more than a beast. To have looked at a young man, regardless of what the circumstances that would have caused them to have met to that point or would have gotten to that point, for you to want to reverse or to drive a car on somebody in that manner, it is saying to us that we've got to join hands together to work with our young people, to work with our older folks. We've got to be able to bring about this awareness that violence is not the answer. We've got to be able to, to, to have many more television programs, to walk around the communities, to meet with our young people, to meet with our citizens, and to get them to understand that there's a better way out, that we can talk about situations, we can resolve issues by talking. Mars, at the time of his death, was the deputy head teacher of the Central High School.